In this video, I'll show you how to create a column graph of your means for two datasets in Microsoft Excel. First of all, you need to highlight the data that you want Excel to use to create the column graph. So I've highlighted the two means and the two datasets to which they apply. You're then going to go and select charts and column and clustered column graph. Upon selection, the column graph will appear in the spreadsheet. Now you have your basic column graph, we're going to tidy it up a little bit, so feel free to move it around and resize it to your liking. What I would always say is try to create in Excel a graph that mimics the kind of graph that you would have done by hand. It's not that Excel knows better than you, you just need to know how to instruct it what to do. So in this case we're going to try and add axes, titles, um, edit the legend and a graph title. First of all, there's no need for a legend in this case because we have labelled the columns beneath each column. So what you can do is you can go to Chart Layout and select Legend and you can tell it to have no legend. So the legend will disappear since it's unnecessary in this graph. So now we want to make sure that our axes are appropriately labelled. So you can go once again to Chart Layout and select Axes Titles. When you do that, it's going to give you a choice of the horizontal or the vertical axis title. Now the horizontal, you can take a look at our graph and see that in fact, both of our bars has already been labeled. So we can instead choose the vertical axis title and we can label that. Selection of this option will put a vertical axis title on your graph, but it will be generic and it will not be specific to your graph. So what you will need to do is to go over there with your cursor, highlight it and edit it to say exactly what your vertical axis represents on your graph. Here you can make an improvement on my chart by following similar steps and going to chart layout to add a chart title. Finally, some people prefer not to see their chart in the actual spreadsheet, but as a separate chart itself. So what you want to do is click on the chart outside of the graphing area, but on the chart and you're going to select Move Chart. So now you're going to be presented with the choice of having it as a new sheet, which you want to select and say OK, and you will find that your chart will now pop up at the bottom of the page, likely as Chart 1. 